Yes, today we are back with the next part of Feel Me on the episode Choose Your Story. I've accidentally already clicked onto it, so that's why the screen's a little different. But if you haven't seen the last one, it'll be right over here in the little link. And first off, Chaos and our character finally reconvened after the awkwardness that he found out that she is the girl he has been texting all summer that he met at the therapist's office. Then we kind of got walked all over by our friends. They didn't do it intentionally, but... They really were about to have us pay like $900 to buy everyone party dresses. And um, I don't think they know what they're doing, but um, anyway. But more point behind, I can't even speak right now. Beyond all of that, we're going to the hottest party of the year in chaos is our plus one. So what could happen at this crazy party? Well, please go follow the amazing author. I will leave her Instagram handle in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the video and channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's start the drama. And that's how Chaos asked me to go with him to the party. And does that surprise you? Of course, he's a lone wolf, as he likes to say. He's basically a loner. I don't know why he wants to go. He may be a loner, but he certainly wants to be with you. Again, this weird feeling. Every time I talk about him, I feel a pang in my heart. A sharp sensation that should hurt, but instead gives me a strange euphoria. I have a feeling this party is going to be one for the books. Batty Graham's sitting here like, can I film this whole thing? You know, this is going to be crazy. Maybe I have to get a present for Milani first. It's a VIP party at the fanciest club and some of the guests are super rich. I can already imagine the gifts. Designer bags, fine jewelry, expensive, weirdly shaped decorations. Ugh. A gift made from the heart is worth a thousand Fendi bags. Why not use your creative talents to make something unique? Something unique. Ooh, I can make her something out of the flowers from our garden. Like you always say, we can create anything with nature. Tea, though. Okay, a black silk ribbon. Oh, I want to close the necklace. Glue it to the ribbon. It's gorgeous. Your friend will love it. Okay, let's roll. Let's continue. We have our little outfit that chaos me bought. And we're going to the party. Oh, everyone's excited. There's two siblings. There's two brothers. I thought it was just Harry Potter. I'm mistaken. Ooh la la. Your first birthday party. We're so proud of you. Only you guys could turn a super awkward thing like being an 18-year-old party virgin into a cause for celebration. I never dreamed I'd be the one staying home on a Saturday night while you sashay off to Club Vortex. I can't believe it either. Let me take 500 pictures. You're absolutely divine in that dress. You look like a model. You're not ugly. Oh, you're all too kind. Smile, sis. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. It's your first one. Off I go. Have fun, sweetie. Okay, let's go to the party. Well, we gotta get our plus one. Worth chaos. I hope Milani isn't gonna stand me up like Jordan did. Don't tell me. What are you waiting for? Get in the limo, girl? I want you to your family. You'll show them you're not a loser. You wouldn't believe me if I said I didn't know them, would you? Oh, how fun is this? This is one hell of a limo. Hey, come sit next to me. Oh, I'm glad you said yes to this dress. Oh, her man really said you come sit next to me. She's gonna take a ride later. It really suits you. Oh, the blue matches him. Oh my goodness, why is my throat suddenly as dry as a desert? It doesn't help that he's dressed like a freaking model and so are you. It's okay, yes, he is a snack today. Like he always is when he's not drowning himself. But she looks like a snack too. And don't get me started on the scent of his skin. So sweet. And strangely sultry too. I think I'm having... Oh, girl. There's no other logical explanations for these heart palpitations. Are you okay? Well, you know what? You're too handsome. It's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> See, honesty. Just gotta give the honesty. Oh, he's flattered. Oh, really? You know what the crazy thing is? Mr. Emotionless has been showing a lot of emotions, really. He was flattered. Mm. So here we are. Wow, this looks very exclusive. My goodness. Talk about an upgrade. How was this even my life? The gang is finally back together to party. Yep, I think the last time we all got together for your birthday was two years ago. DJ finally managed to drag chaos out of his lair. 
as if our gang wasn't already big enough. Are you always just like this, Dagger? Why are you here? Why are you here? Come on, stop being jelly. Your beloved chaos will always have time for you, Dagger. Knock it off. Oh my gosh, this is our song, babe. Wanna dance? Hell yeah, birthday girl. And now he's being nice to her? You know, Maloney is sweet and she deserves better. I just don't see it for Dagger. I just don't see it for Dagger. He is just not anywhere close to how amazing she is. I'm sorry, I had to say it. Want to say no? Is the sky blue? Actually, no, I'll leave off the smokes tonight. He didn't say no because of me, did he? Huh? Did you hit your head or something? Oh, no. Okay, everyone's getting crazy. You're so beautiful tonight. You really think so? Of course, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole school. Oh, I love you so much. What kind of twist? Milani and Dagger are hitting it off tonight. No way, does this mean that she... Oh my goodness. Well, well, look who's here. We should be saying that to you. Why are you here? Ah. Did I hear something? Nice to see you too. I don't know. Was that the wind? Milani's mom and Clover's mom are best friends. Milani had no choice but to invite her. Ugh. How about a drink, guys? That would be amazing. Yeah, the night is young. All the drinks, no regrets. Here comes the social obligation to ingest nasty, noxious liquids. Note that it's hard to choose between a healthy liver and the miracle of friends. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's play truth or dare. It wouldn't be a real birthday party without it. It wouldn't be an episode story at this point without truth or dare. Oh my gosh. For the first time ever, I agree with you. I think I'm going to cry. I'll finally be able to say I played a stupid drinking game. Oh, my teen years aren't lost yet. I'll start Malcolm truth or dare. Dare, of course. Impersonate someone in the room. I'm stepping out for a smoke. Don't follow me out. I'm the king of glue. <laughs> You're a jerk, but it was spot on. They seem to get along so well. How stupid of me to think that Chaos was jealous of Malcolm. Oh, he was. No, well, truth or dare. Truth. Have you ever done the nasty with a girl? <gasps> of course not. Wait. Is the plot twist she's not after Dagger, but she wants Milani? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, my turn. Chaos, truth or dare. Whatever you like. Uh, you're giving me to something spicy. Have you ever been in love? I don't know, truth. Have you ever been in love? Ooh, that's an interesting question. Well, no, never. No way. A guy like you must have made a ton of girls fall for you. Maybe, but I've never been in love myself. Never ever. I felt something pretty intense when I was younger, but I've never given a name to that feeling. Ooh, so he totally loved her when they were kids. Harley, truth or dare? Truth. Have you ever had a dream about someone here? Um, yeah. About me? I hate you. Right or truth or dare? Dare, I'm not a chicken like some people. Get down on one knee and propose to the person farthest to you. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Everyone thought we were just friends, but we knew the truth. We slept in the same room after not showering for three days. I patted your back when you lost your shit after I beat you at Dinecraft. Chaos, do you want to be my best friend? Forever? That was cute. How touching. My turn now. Chaos, truth or dare? Dare. You have enough hearts to choose in Noelle's place. Uh, serenade the person to your right. Let's do that. Serenade the person to your right. All right, let's do this. Oh, sing us a song. I've been longing for you and you've got me so blue. I just can't sleep no more. Oh, DJ, I toss and I turn for the time that I yearn when it was just the two of us. Oh, someone's mad right there. He can sing too. Oh, he can, Clover. And you ain't ever going to hear that personally. I can't with how perfect he is. DJ, truth or dare? Truth. Who was the worst lay you ever had? Um, okay, then if you haven't done anything, what about your worst kiss? Your worst hug? Excuse me for a second. Oh, no, she's... Oh, girl. I feel so bad for her. She felt uncomfortable. What a loser. 
Um, Miranda, y'all shouldn't be talking about losers. Broke and a virgin. And like, what's the problem with being a virgin? Like, I'm not seeing the drama. Like, okay. And big deal. Like, people can do whatever they want with their bodies. People don't have to do anything if they don't want to. Some people don't like it and they shouldn't have to do it. Forget Clover. She's an idiot. You know what? It's okay. I know the risk of playing the game. So it's true you've never been kissed. No. Do you want to dance? Do I look like someone who likes to dance? Not really. And you, you want to dance. Do I look like someone who knows how to dance? Guys, let's get a group picture. Where are Harley and Ryder? I think Harley went to the bathroom. Come on, let's go find them. <gasps> oh my gosh. I thought you were broken up. We do, but we also, we don't. Get dressed, you guys. Everyone's saying for you to take our group photo. Oh, we was chilling at the Vortex, all right. They was chilling in their own personal Vortexes. Oh my goodness gracious. This party's getting crazy. I like how was Clover even in that one? I don't think she's in that one. I was paying attention to her. She's irrelevant. Although Clover and her minions were determined to ruin my night, I was hanging in there. It would take more than a few insults to make someone like me give up. After all, I had a non-eligible track record of being taken for a loser. Let's play another drinking game, another one. If I drink one more drop of alcohol, I might projectile vomit. How about spin the bottle? Do you know the rules? Yep. Perfect. Okay, you can choose to pass on the kiss if the person next to you volunteers to drink an entire cup for you. I propose a variation. Having a first kiss doesn't during a dumb drinking game doesn't seem right. That was really thoughtful of him. She can decide between truth or dare instead. Works for me. So that's what people my age do. The mystery is now solved. They spend their evenings trying to embarrass themselves as much as possible with messed up drinking games. We not going to be making, we not going to be awkward again. We got this. Okay, I'll start. Who it going to land on? Oh, Malcolm. Kiss Milani. Hey, it's the bottle's fault. Not mine, man. So, I'm here to save your butt. You're the best. Like I wasn't the world's best kisser. Interesting. My turn. Chaos? Huh? What? Didn't you say you couldn't drink another drop? The things I'm willing to do to save you from Tia's claws. Your turn, DJ Truth or Dare. Mm, dare. Spend seven minute party game with the person the bottle points at. Who is it going to point at? Please be chaos. Okay, okay. Mm. Ooh, someone's mad. Since we don't have a closet closet here, you two can go to the dressing room. So, have fun. Seven minutes in heaven it is. I am glad the bottle stopped the chaos. Even a bottle would find him attractive. So, want to spend seven minute party game with me? Ooh, I'm not spending it with Clover. Ugh, is that even a question? I can't wait to spend some time alone with you. She's going to ride him. She's going to ride him like a horse, like a motorcycle, like anything. I'm glad. So what do people do exactly during the seven-minute party game? Well, some of them don't do anything. Others talk and others kiss. Can you imagine us kissing? Yeah. That would be, well, what do you think it would be like? It would be the best kiss in the world. Nobody knows me better than you. I agree. I think it would be the perfect kiss. Dip it down. Oh, my goodness. Why is he so close? Girl. Girl salivates. Have you ever thought of me in that way? Oh, oh, he got his arm up. He's been Mr. Sexy now. Well, he's been standing so close to me all evening. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like to be my girlfriend? Oh, wow. It's like time has stopped. Are you going to fall off? Oops. Time's up, lovebirds. Oh, damn it. It's time to open presents. Milani, keep your back straight and fix your hair. Huh? That's Milani's mother. She could have been a military sergeant. 
What a beautiful bag. Thank you, Glover. It's from Poochie's latest collection. Only the best for my best friend's daughter. Open mine, open mine. Wow, a diamond necklace. You guys are really spoiling me. Where's your gift? Why don't you go next to Milani and give it to her in front of everyone? Don't be ashamed. You made this yourself. Here you go. I made it with a daisy from my garden. The daisy symbolize is love and beauty. You remind me of those qualities. You're the spitting image of those qualities. I hope you like it. What is that piece of trash? Doesn't she know how much it costs us to rent this place? Is, are they serious? Those are parents. Parents? Where are you going? Home. What are you doing? I'm coming with you. I looked so bad in there. You think my parents might want to move again? I've always, I'm not. Oh, I feel so bad for her. I told you you were too nice to Clover. You've got to stand up for yourself if you don't want to be treated like that. How on earth did I ever think I could be friends with the beautiful, popular, loaded cheerleaders? Why does the universe hate me? I knew I should have come to this party. And her gift was so nice. Like, she made that herself. So, but no, here I am in heels way too high for a human being to walk in that make my feet hurt like hell. What is she? Oh, she took them off. Much better. From this day forward, I only walk barefoot. <gasps> Stay still for a moment. Oh, these shoes, I've seen them somewhere before. Can you walk in these? <gasps> the shoes she's remembering from the therapist's office. I wish I could be like you, Chaos. Ever since you were little, you knew how to handle everything. I don't think you really want to be like me. I, for one, wouldn't. Even though it seems like I found my place in the world, the truth is I've been wandering ever since I can remember. I never told you this, but the first day I met you, I noticed a special aura around you. It was rainbow-colored, endless refractions of light. I never saw an aura of that color around anyone else again. Whenever we were together, protecting me like a shield, making me feel like I never felt before. But now I don't see it anymore. Since I moved back here, all I can see around you is a black haze. I keep thinking about what happened at the pool that day. Your eyes were so dark. Not everyone sees life the way you do. You have this miraculous ability to see the good in life and in people. But to me, life has only shown the bad stuff. I used to lick my wounds waiting for them to heal. Now I realize that nothing actually makes sense in the end. And that life is just an empty journey. Oh dear. Oh, we getting, they're getting a little too many options tonight. Enough with the tomb and gloom we should get going. I'm sorry you're not as happy as you were when we were kids. Oh, they're just having lots of emotions. I shouldn't have left you. But please don't give up on life. Oh, they're getting a little sleepover. Do you really want to spend the night? Yep. You should have seen how stoked my family was that I was finally going to a party. I don't want to disappoint them to tell them that I ran away crying. I thought coming with you to the party would make it less awkward for you. I'm sorry you felt like you don't fit in, but for what it's worth, I actually had a pretty fun evening with you. I haven't been to a social event in a long time. And if I did tonight, it was only because of you. Oh, he was there for me every time I needed him, always. Oh, but you moving on, not with them gym options again. Can I lean on your shoulder tonight? It's been an eventful night and I don't want to feel any more emotions right now. Sure. Oh, is his heart coming back to life? Why are you leaving? It's my parents. They don't want to stay in town. Come on, we need to go. You promise you never leave me. What am I going to do without you, my friend? The rainbow's coming back. What's happening to me? Mm -hmm.